Yeah. And I, I like, again, like I just keep going back to this concept where there's like the the traumas we kind of all go through that affect how we act as adults. And then there's, you know, the PTSD diagnosis, which can involve flashbacks, which can involve, you know, nightmares, these very specific things. And they're all on this really, really valid spectrum of like the human experience. Just some people who maybe are diagnosed with PTSD need different tools to kind of get through those very specific things. But it's it's so important to talk about it because I think that it, it validates all of it, right? That like even just having a specific friendship as a child can influence how you have friendships now. And that's not something you can just get over. Just like all of this stuff, right? It all kind of carries with you and affects your behavior. Yeah. I think it also speaks really truly to to some of the kind of misconceptions that people have about PTSD and like Mm -hmm. the cause of how people can be diagnosed with it because for years we've always heard like veterans are people who have PTSD but other people can't really have PTSD and we absolutely know now that's not the case that basically anybody can experience it as long as they kind of fit you know those traumatic moments and and they kind of fall along that spectrum as well but it is identifying that these are the same experiences and just because we can't understand you know why this feels like a trauma when maybe it doesn't make sense to another person that doesn't change the fact that it is one and we need to address it as such it's not going to help by not doing that exactly like it the trauma is specific to you not the outside world just because you haven't gone through maybe you have gone through war or maybe you haven't your own war is your personal thing and like even you said Brittany, about how your dog dying was a higher pain level at some points than what someone else would perceive maybe your childhood trauma to be the bigger one but it really is what is personal to you in your experience and not the outside it's like yourself is yours and theirs is theirs 100%. And like, I think something that we've kind of already like mentioned so important is the factor that there's the subconscious ways that the PTSD will still manifest. So yes, I do have these moments where like I get sucked back into that vet room. But then I have other moments where, you know, Callie will, the new dog will get into something she's not supposed to get into. And then I'm going to be stressing thinking, oh, no, is she going to keel over and die? So it makes me hypervigilant. So I think that It's so interesting all the different ways that trauma within PTSD will manifest. And it's not something that I think that anybody can judge. Like, I think an issue that should be talked about more in the mental health community, quite honestly, is Mm -hmm. gatekeeping mental illness. 110%. And I think that a huge part of PTSD is almost this gatekeeping feeling within it. Like, we gatekeep it enough for ourselves. Like, I, this isn't traumatic enough. This isn't bad enough for me to feel this level of grief but at the end of the day there's also that other level of outward gatekeeping where other people are just going to tell you it was just a dog you're just stressed you're still just going through it where it's like no I really think this is something bigger so I think that it's quite honestly there's so much that goes into it 110 percent that makes a lot of sense I I think that we really value what our experience is but don't feel like it's good enough and that's something we need to like start breaking down the stigma. Right, exactly. 